pastor's wife and had an affair several years ago. The marriage is in a broken state. The beautiful picture that Pastor Tim created about marriage sounds that Tim created about marriage sounds great, but does it apply to a marriage after infidelity? It absolutely does. Oh, for sure. It absolutely does. Um, Israel was unfaithful to God, mm -hmm. and He took them back. Um, That's right. Uh, I feel like uh, forgiveness. Forgiveness and in him. a marriage. Uh, especially after something like infidelity, mm -hmm. uh, is one of the be most beautiful pictures uh, that God can show yeah. um, uh, in his relationship with the church. Yeah. Uh, many of us in our walks with the Lord, if we can be honest, we've been unfaithful to the Lord. Mm -hmm. we've, we've had our seasons where we backslid or we had our seasons where we, we made something an idol and cared something more about uh, what was on the outside than, than what really mattered spiritually. And so even though um, uh, you've, you've, your marriage uh, has a narrative of an affair, you can still have this beautiful picture yeah. of what Christ did for his bride, the forgiveness, the redemption, and the wholeness of that relationship. And... Um, I just feel led to say, forgive yourself. If your spouse has forgiven you, sometimes one of the most difficult things uh, for the person that has had the affair is to forgive themselves. So I want you to forgive yourself and really step into the grace that both um, God and your spouse has shown to you acknowledge what, what made the affair happen, and then affair-proof the marriage. That's right. Affair-proof that marriage, so as you move forward, you're establishing that clear picture, and God can use the testimony of what you've been through to help others. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That is very good. Um, and um, if you're still married, which I think the question said that they were, it was just in a broken state. Yeah. Um, the fact that you're still married uh, lets me know that there is still a hope there. Yeah, for sure. So maybe if there can be a level of transparency to see what got you there in the first place and making sure you're addressing that in yourself and that you're honest with your spouse of how it got there. And we keep those things in the open and you unpack all of your stuff in the open, uh, that can bring more healing than brokenness. Correct. Does that make sense? So what I'm saying is, is when you are um, in that position, you acknowledge what brought you there because the actual act was just one part. Something led you there. That's correct. There's many steps that happened before That's you correct. even got there. That's correct. So you have to acknowledge what happened way over here first mm -hmm. for it to even get here. Right. And so once you start to retrack and go back there and acknowledge that and acknowledge what, what was the role that I played, not here, maybe uh, I did this, but what was the role that I played when I was over here? Mm -hmm. Did I not say, was I not honest? Was mm -hmm. I not transparent? Mm -hmm. You know, then that's what you need to work on so that mm -hmm. this doesn't happen anymore. Mm -hmm. And if you can keep yourself accountable to your spouse and say, this is what went wrong here. I'm 100% transparent with that. And here's all the ways that I want to make myself completely and always transparent with you. So this is one thing you will never have to worry about again. Yes, good. And so uh, it's just acknowledging those things, being honest and transparent. And then we are praying that God will uh, fix that brokenness and completely heal. Ah!